Hi, I'm Will Leach, author of Marketing to Mind States, and this is your Mind State Messenger. You know, the number one call I've really received from my clients for the last year and a half, but actually just particularly in the last month, has this been uh, this ask of what should I do with my customer segmentation? We no longer believe in it. Now, I've had some of the largest brands in the world talk to me about this. Um, as well as even just some smaller mid-tier brands thinking, you know what, we've never really done much with our segmentation in the first place. Now might be the time for us to actually take our segmentation to the next level. So what I wanna do is talk today about what a brand refresh or a segmentation refresh can do for you and why it's so important for you to consider doing one now given recent events and then how do you really do this? So first off, let's just be very vocally honest with each other. The world is a very volatile, uncertain, chaotic, and ambiguous place. There's been massive change since, I would argue, 2019. Certainly, once COVID uh, hit the hit the world, since then, imagine all the things we've had. We've had a global pandemic for health care. We've had economic crises. We've had social crises. We've had war. We have now inflation at all-time highs throughout the world, and we have massive, massive, massive amounts of advertising and technology change. So because of this, if you have a segmentation that you did previous to 2020, or maybe even right after COVID, you maybe have done a small refresh, I would argue that it's time now to do a restage or what we call a refresh in behavioral sciences to make sure we really understand the current kind of uh, feelings, emotions, those belief systems that your customers have. And once you do that, you're gonna have to think about how does that change the personas that you've been probably driving your strategy and marketing against. So the world has changed a lot. You know this intuitively. What I'm telling you is that the biggest brands are seeing that their segmentations are no longer useful, or at least they're not nearly as predictive as they used to be. So they're doing not a brand new segmentation, they're doing a refresh. So how do you wanna go about doing a refresh? The first tip I'm going to have for you, the step one is I want you to go back to your customers and reconfirm that the core touch points um, that they interacted with you previously are still those same touch points or do they have new touch points? Now, this is going to be um, especially important if you sell um, in retail. The reason why I tell you this is that during COVID and the pandemic, you probably know this, but I don't know if you know the extent at which people started buying things online and then bartering with other people in their community, like taking your product and reusing it for other things. Like there are so many new touch points that your customers now use when they interact with your product, not just buying your product, but also using your product. So it's really important for you to get out in the field again and understand the new dynamics of the occasions that people are using your products. How are these coming to life? Where are they using them? How how are they using this? But also where are they buying? What's the mechanism by which they're buying them? Really, really important because there's been such dramatic change with how people use and buy products that it's going to probably be the biggest part of your segmentation is understanding this dynamic and how do you market to this dynamic? So once you understand where these moments are, we call these moments trigger points. The next thing you want to do is identify the job to be done or what are their goals in these moments. Now, goal theory um, tells us that we always seek to reach our aspirational goals. So every behavior you have and every behavior your customers have always, always, always map back to an aspirational goal that they have. Now, many times these aspirational goals are not even known. They're subconscious to the customer. So you want to do some behavioral science-based research to understand what is that job to be done in those moments when they're interacting with your brand and what is that core aspirational goal. Aspirational goals are going to be critical for you, not even just in segmentation um, and understanding, but when you understand your customer's aspirational goals, you are much more likely to design creative that gets breakthrough attention because you're speaking to their aspirational goals at a subconscious level. It's going to help you with your breakout or your breakthrough marketing as well as attention on any kind of digital marketing you do in the future. So I want you to identify those jobs to be done in those moments that they're interacting with your brand. Next, you probably have attitudinal segmentation. So you have a feeling for kind of the core desires. So what I want you to do though is to confirm that the desires that you knew previously are still the case. Guys, 
COVID created massive amounts of stress, and that stress has changed many people's core motivations as human beings. Security and safety, especially in today's world with economic strife, social strife, political strife, uh, you know, even health strife, that security is a core motivation that's starting to make its way into any category that's out there. So you want to reconfirm how much security is impacting your category, if at all, and to what level is it re- is it replacing the core motivations that used to drive the category. So I want you to confirm those desires for the category as well as your brand. If you find, for instance, for this example, that security is now one of the core two desires that people have in your category, whatever that category is, I want you to start talking to them about your brand and what associations does your brand have with security? Because if the category motivations have have changed, even at the secondary level, even if a secondary motivation is for perhaps security or maybe belonging, you may not, you may no longer fit into that core motivation. What's going to happen is you're going to start seeing penetration of your brand and actually um, usage of your brand declining a little bit at first, but then it takes a massive uh, drop 16 to like 24 months after, you know, we see this in the marketplace because people don't identify your brand as being able to reach those core desires. So I want you to do it not only for the category, but where does your brand fit in to that core motivation that you've uh, confirmed? And then lastly, identify the mind state. Yeah, listen, it's really interesting to understand the job to be done at certain moments and what these moments are. Uh, where these moments happen and what's happening in these moments and even the core desires. But those things don't automatically allow you to take that segmentation and turn it into actionable research, actionable insights, and actionable creative tactics. That's what mind state marketing does. So if you understand the job to be done in a moment of a purchase or a moment of of a, a usage occasion, and you understand the core motivation that's driving somebody in that moment, you now pretty much understand their mind state. And when you understand their mind state, you can create brand new customer personas just using the principles in the book, Marketing to Mind States. With this, you can give these personas to your agency. They're gonna be incredibly thankful because right now they're not so sure how to do marketing because they intuitively know that things have shifted. Give them what they need to draft great creative, you know, emotionally engaging creative that's gonna get your customers to take new action. Ultimately, I believe that if you have not refreshed your segmentation, that is, and you're seeing some business declines, or even if you find that your business is growing, but you don't feel like it's growing in the right way, it's growing because of distribution or because of competitors are leaving the marketplace versus really them engaging with your brand, you should do a brand refresh. These refreshes are not like doing a brand new segmentation. You don't have to brand, do a brand new segmentation. You just do an overlay on top of your segmentation by identifying the core mind states of your customer. And that will give you a brand new segmentation that you can use to effectively grow your company using behavioral science. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Now hit that like button if you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe so you can see the latest videos to show you how to grow your brand or business using behavioral science.